This video will show you how to save new messages in Predictable for future use. The version of Predictable used in this video was 6.0.25.2. It was running on an iPad using iPad OS 15.0.2. And at the time this video was created, the methods demonstrated were correct. There are four components of the video. The first being demonstrating how to type a message and assign it to a category. The second being how to create a new message within a preset category. Third, how to create a new category. And fourth, a page of additional resources. The first way to save a message for future use is to type a message into the message window. For example, if the message I want to save is I want to save this for a later time. I'll type my message in the message window. I'll then use my cursor or my finger and go down to the categories button here. I'll then select the category I want to assign it to. For example, if I wanted to assign the message to the category frequent, I'll select frequent. I'll then go up here to the pencil and four line icon, which is edit. I'll then click add phrase. And then the message I just typed in the message window appears here, where the spoken phrase will be, I want to save this for a later time. And the display phrase is what text the icon will have. So then if I click the check mark in the top right corner, I can then see that here my message I want to save this for a later time has now been saved in my frequent category. I'll then go over here to the check mark, select the check mark, and now my editing in the category is done. And so now if I go to my frequent category, my message that I just typed and saved to the frequent category is now there. I want to save this for a later time. The second way to type and save a message and assign it to a category for future use is to go and use your cursor or your finger and go to the category icon here in the bottom right. Then select the category which you want to save the phrase in. For example, if I wanted to have my new phrase saved to the frequent category, I would select the frequent icon. I would then click the edit button here with the pencil and four lines. I'll then select add phrase. Here under spoken phrase, I'll type the phrase that I want to save. So if I wanted to write and save the message, hi, how are you doing? I would type that under the spoken phrase and under display phrase, I would write the text that I want to have appear on the phrase icon. After confirming the spoken phrase and the display phrase are accurate, you can then go up here to the top right and select the check mark box. That saves the message I just wrote here. You can see, hi, how are you? I can then click my check mark icon here so I can finish my category editing. Here, I can see that my message that I just typed and saved, hi, how are you doing, is now saved in my frequent category. I can then select the icon, which then will send the message to the message window and speak it aloud. Hi, how are you doing? We'll now review how to create a new category in Predictable. For example, if you have an event or an activity coming up, and you want to save messages ahead of time, you can create a new category by using your finger or cursor and going down to the category icon in the bottom right. Here, this is the categories page, as you can see as labeled here. You then go to the edit icon, which is the pencil and four lines. You then select add category. And here you can type in the category that you would like, either with the on-screen keyboard or an external keyboard. 
So if I knew I had a family dinner coming up, I could label this family dinner. I would then click the check mark box in the top right to save the category. I would then select the check mark box here to save. Now I can see that my new category called family dinner is here. And now I can edit and begin to create new messages to save for future use.